Why would I be good on Survivor? Because I could win that sucker. That's why. Because you gotta, you gotta do whatever it takes to win, and I will do that. I think I can get people to work together well, and uh, you know that's what coaching is. Get get people to work together well for a common goal, a common cause. I've always been able to do that. I can go a long time without brushing my teeth. Hi, my name is Steve Hagen. I'm 58 years old. I have four kids, one wife, and I can win Survivor. I coach football for a living. I used to coach in the NFL. Now I'm coaching in the XFL. I don't know if I'm allowed to wear this hat, so I'm gonna wear this hat. <laughs> I love football. I've been a football coach, an assistant football coach, an offensive coordinator special teams coordinator. My favorite thing about coaching is getting getting all the guys together and pointing them in a direction to go accomplish a big time goal, like you know, winning the Super Bowl, winning the championship, whatever whatever we're chasing, we're going to get. That's what I love about coaching. In Survivor, Survivor's a very unique game. There's so much deceit. There's, uh, you can't trust anybody. Hopefully in coaching, in the coaching I'm doing, you're building a trust factor. Um, you, you try to build trust in Survivor, but it doesn't always work out, as you can see. I mean, we're watching Survivor right now on TV, and guys are getting blindsided. Guys and girls are getting blindsided left and right. Missy just got blindsided last night, and uh, she was shocked. Like, you know, So I think I was a little bit too. Play hard. Do whatever it takes to win. Hey, if they trust you, they trust you. If they don't, they don't. I think everybody's got their own agenda. They're doing whatever it takes to win, whatever they think it takes to win. I'm going to do whatever I think it takes to win. So, you know, you gotta lie. It's all in. It's all under the rules of the game, right? So it's like you're lying, but you're, you know, outside on the street. I don't know if I'd be lying to that same person because we wouldn't be, you know, on the street. We're not playing for a million bucks. <laughs> if you were given a million dollars, what would you do with it? Oh man. First of all, you're not giving it. You gotta earn that sucker. And uh, I've been blessed, so I, I I'm not saying I'm. I'm multi-millionaire or anything like that, but um, I would give I would give a lot of it away. And then you know what I do? I take my family on a trip to where they they film Survivor, and we wouldn't have to play for a million dollars. We could just go there and enjoy it, and maybe not live in a hut and eat rice and <laughs> look for <laughs> immunity idols or anything like that. We just enjoy and chill. But um, that's it. I, I just want to I want to play the game to play the game. I'm not so um, concerned about the money is I'd love to win just to be the winner but I could give that money back to uh, somebody who needs it way more than us do you have any last words <laughs> these are my first words look forward to seeing you on that island let's go